what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Authorities in Southwest Florida arrested a supermarket clerk for trying to steal a winning Florida lottery ticket from a customer. Police say a man gave a ticket to 42-year-old Crystal Baton on Monday to scan. When Baton scanned the ticket at a Winn-Dixie liquor store in Fort Myers, officials said she learned the ticket was worth $600. That's when she put a plan in motion. What did she do? Did she do the right thing and reach into the cash register and pay the man? No, she did not. She reached into her purse and pulled out $5 and gave the man the $5. But there was only one problem. The man was an undercover agent with the Florida Lottery Commission. <laughs> they locked their ass up. <laughs> so now she's in jail and she has to make bond for grand theft. They say that uh, after they busted her, they found the winning lottery ticket inside of a notebook. When Dixie released this statement, we are taking matters very seriously as the trust and safety of our customers is our highest priority. The associate's employment has been terminated. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many times have they released a statement like that? Only when they get caught. Kills me how they act like it's customers first. All of these corporations, man, they're all corrupt. Even the Florida Lottery Commission. You know how many people have been busted who works for them? Can't even trust the guy who actually busts the clerk. They all do it, man. They all a bunch of crooks. Lottery commission itself, a whole lottery, man. It's a big old scam. I'm glad she got busted, though, because, man, a lot of people give their last playing that game. And I know that ain't the right thing to do. They should be saving their money and trying to invest in all of that good stuff. But damn, man, people do what they want to do with their money, and it's not illegal to play the lottery. There's worse things that a person could do with their money than play the lottery. So when people play the lottery, use their hard earned money, man, they need to play fat, man. They need to pack fat. And a lot of these people ain't packing fat. So you know that's not the first time she did that. That's just the first time she got caught that we know of. For all we know, she could have worked for another store and got fired from that store and ended up at Winn Dixie. You never know. Kind of like move them around like they do crooked cops. So the Florida Lottery Commission, it should be noted that they do these regular stings. So this is not like a one time thing. Let me tell you this, man. The first thing that stands out here, of course, is Alarms should go off anytime <laughs> you go to redeem a lottery ticket and the clerk reaches inside of her purse <laughs> to pay you. <laughs> That's just crazy, man. <laughs> you know there's something wrong with that, right? So even if dude hadn't been an undercover agent, he probably would have wanted to double check his ticket. And I'm going to tell you something else. Uh, the first thing you should do anytime you buy a lottery ticket is sign the back. Sign the back. That way you lay claim early on. That's any dispute. You, know, you got some backup. Also, check your own ticket. I don't play the lottery, but when I did, I would always go online and check myself. I never sit up and watch. I, I didn't even sit up and watch that stuff on TV. You know how they put all the numbers inside the big old container and blah, 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 all that stuff. I never, I never sit there and watch that stuff. Too nerve wracking anyway. 
So I would just go online and and look up the winning numbers on there. And I, I also heard that they have uh, some of these stores have screens that you can look at that shows you uh, if you're a winner also. So there's a number of things that you can do to protect yourself. If I were you, uh, if you're going to play the game, you may as well know the rules. So if I were you, I'd get online and look up, you know, how to protect yourself, or how to protect your ticket, be safe, avoid scams, whatever, when it comes to playing the lottery. I would do that if I were you, if you're going to play the game. But it was a good look for, thank God it was not a real customer, but you know she got a number of customers. just wonder how many people has she gotten like that? You know how many lottery tickets they sell every day? These stores sell? We're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars. Wow. Only 600 bucks though. You know she went to jail, so you know that bond gonna be more than that. And she gotta pay for a lawyer. Couple that with the embarrassment. Not a good look. At the end of the day, like they say in boxing, if you're going to play the lotto, protect yourself at all times. No more talk.